Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're taking a look at Amazon's brand new Alexa powered Echo device. Now, this just cleared the FCC, hasn't even been officially announced, but we have new data that shows that Amazon's really working hard to target your bedroom. There's a piece of device in pretty much everybody's bedroom, a clock, right? Everybody, for the most part, has a clock in the room. I know there's somebody who's gonna say, I don't have one, but the vast majority of Americans have an alarm clock or just a regular clock. Now, for many people, their phones have started to take over that feature where they use that as their bedroom clock and a alarm clock. But still, even though I've used my phone for a long time, I still have a clock in there because I like to wake up and, hey, is it three o'clock or did I oversleep for work? Did I get up early, late, am I on time? Can I get just five more minutes of sleep? It's a pretty big business. If you think about it, millions of these devices are in your homes all across the world. And Amazon wants in on that market. For some time now, they've had Echoes with like clocks built into it and different features to try to make it tempting for you to put that in your bedroom. Now they have a new feature coming out, sleep tracking, that they wanna use, try to help you A, get better sleep, B, so you buy their device and put it in your bedroom there. Now there are many of these devices out there already. We're gonna be breaking down what Amazon's hoping to do, give you details about the new Amazon Echo, and let you know what to expect and when to expect it. Now, if you're new here, first though, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, it really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here and hopefully we can help you learn something new about the world around you and about the Amazon Echo products and more. So hitting that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, really does help us because you let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. All right, let's get into it. So the FCC has approved a new Alexa power device that will track your sleep. Yes, it uses a variety of different ways, including microphones to detect things like snoring, and it also has low power radar. Yes, radar will actually monitor you as you sleep for rolling disturbances and more to kind of track how well you're sleeping. Now, Amazon's not the first one to do this. Google Nest Hub announced that earlier this year. It has a, a Google Nest Hub out there, their next gen one, that will do this already. Amazon's bringing this in, A, to get you to put their product in your bedroom, right? They wanna be in on that millions of smart or clocks that are sitting on nightstands all across the world. But they also wanna probably use it to sell you stuff. Think about it, if they can track your sleep and give you tips about it, they can also sell you products. Hey, we noticed you're this kind of sleeper, you're that kind of sleeper. You know, this pillow may give you better sleeping results. So we'll have to see how they do that part. Now, Amazon's already been tracking your sleep for some time. They have the Amazon Halo device, which will allow you to go out there and wear a band, much like a Fitbit, and track your activity and your workouts and just your daily going through life, plus your sleep, and give you reports and suggestions. So Amazon's already been building up good database on how people sleep. But a lot of people don't like to actually sleep with a band on the wrist. You know, may not, may irritate them, or maybe they just don't like it. So Amazon's new contactless system will allow them to do this without having to actually track physically on your body while you're moving. There's also a lot of arguments that the sleep radar and microphone will be more accurate because you think about it, you're only tracking the movement of the wrist. Well, that gives you a good idea for large movements and different things the radar may be a lot more precise. For some people, probably freaked out about this. For other people who are one of millions of people who struggle with sleep disorders or poor night's sleep, things like this can be life-changing and it can help you kind of better understand what you're doing as you sleep to help you better figure out how to sleep better with tips and feedback and more. So while well, creepy for some, other people it may be a lifesaver. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Now, this is probably just one of many different devices out there this fall. Now, we do get the big 10-inch screen update, and we did get some other updates of smaller devices, the Echoes and more. I got one of the five-inchers for my bedroom of all places. I like it that has the camera cover on it. But we are actually due for a lot of different Echo updates coming out here. It'll be interesting to see exactly how Amazon targets the bedroom. I don't think sleep will be the only way they do that. It'll be interesting. Now, of course, there's other updates that we should expect. For instance, a uh, better screen, a better speaker in it, and more. It'll be interesting to see. A few predictions on my part. An Echo Dot will probably be updated. And then the actual Echo, just standalone tube type, the, the standalone classic Echo, we'll call it, probably is due for a nice update too. Screens are fun, but it's also nice to have just some out there. 
They also the Echo Input and others haven't been updated in some time. Echo Input is a speaker list one. I actually have here, this house came with a intercom system and I use an Echo Input to connect into that intercom system, turning my home into a giant Echo where I can play my music and other things through it with that. So definitely different ways out there for this to go, but I do expect us to see improved speakers, the sleep timer, and a clock one. It'd be interesting to see, a lot of people don't want the big physical display. Can we though get more of a classic clock look with this radar technology in it for there? Having a big screen next to your bed for many people is a big thing. A lot of people hate having light in their room as they sleep. Some people, it doesn't bother them at all. They sleep with the TV on and it's like nothing to them. So it'll be interesting to see how Amazon goes about that with their new Alexa powered Echo devices. So let me know, what do you think of Amazon's move here? Uh, do you like the sleep tracker? Would you use a sleep tracker? Do you struggle from poor sleep? Would this maybe help you? There's also a lot of devices out there that detect snoring and actually make noise to kind of wake you up and more to try to help crack down on snoring. Hey, dummy, <laughs> roll over, right? Instead of having your wife do it, you can have, or spouse or whoever it is that may be the snorer, in my case, my wife, uh, tell you to roll over, right? So that you know that, and then you can get a better night's sleep without snoring through the night. We'll see how that plays out. But leave me a comment, let me know. I'd love to hear from you on what you think of these different devices. Would you buy it? What would you like to see in it? Do you want more of a traditional clock format? Or would an Echo Dot, a regular Echo a Mini, or a regular Echo speaker be all you want? I actually really like having a clock by my bed. Even though I have a stand with my phone on it, I like having that option there. So you can just glance at it in the middle of the night or in the morning and see what time it is and decide, can I get that five more minutes of sleep in? I don't know, it's each their own. But if you're new here, do me a big favor, help us grow this channel. We bring a lot of breakdowns of big news in a wide range of different areas here to this channel. And we try to make it all simple and easy to understand quick little videos. We do the research for you so you don't have to spend time digging around trying to find out everything you can about, in this case, the new Amazon Echoes are coming out later this year. And a quick tip before I forget, expect these devices to come out in the fall of 2021. I would not be surprised to see if we get an announcement in the next 30 to 60 days with a release maybe coming into September, October, could be a very realistic time frame. So keep that in mind. Well, I hope you all have a fantastic day. I hope you all take care, be safe, check out our other videos, and help me grow this brand new channel. I would really appreciate the support. Until next time, for the breakdown, take care, be safe, and thank you greatly for your support.